This video is called Creating Scenes, and it's the fifth video for Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, what I've done here is I've modeled a little uh, Miesian courtyard doghouse for my dog, Savannah. She's right there. And I've done everything I've, right, at least that I can remember from architecture school. I created a white brick uh, perimeter wall. There's kind of a little slab roof there. I've even got, I dare say, a star column. Andy Todd at Rice University is going to be very pleased uh, if I did this right, and he's going to be very displeased if I did it wrong. I've even got some artwork inside this house that um, I imagine Savannah would probably do if I let her anywhere near my oil pastels. Okay, so that said, I look, I even created sort of a water trough. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to give people a tour of this doghouse. I want to create a tour of the doghouse in SketchUp that I can just click buttons or maybe even just press play. And it'll take people through a series of scenes uh, that show all the different views that I kind of just showed you. The trouble about using the rotate tool, I should say the orbit tool and some other tools when you're doing this is that it's kind of nauseating for your audience. So what you want to do is use scenes uh, to do this. And, and using scenes is really simple. I'm going to go to the window menu and choose scenes. And that opens the scenes dialog box. Now, I'm just going to close that for now right there and make it a little minor. And watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this Add Scenes button in the top right, uh, I'm sorry, top left corner of the um, dialog box. Now, it says Add Page, and that's actually a bug in the program. Scenes used to be called Pages until version 6 of SketchUp, so where we just found something. Now, watch here at the top of the modeling window when I click this button. I'm going to click on that button, and oh, okay. This is surprising, but it's actually not that surprising. Now, I didn't cover this in the book because we hadn't actually uh, implemented this when I wrote this part of the book, but you're going to see this all the time. It's going to say, warning, you're creating or updating a scene and have not saved the changes you've made to your style. Now, without going into too much detail about what styles are, I almost never say do nothing and save changes. I always either update the selected style or save as a new style. And that's going to depend on whether or not I like the style that I have implemented. In this case, I want to go um, absolutely trouble free. I don't even want to think about this or styles or any of that right now. So I'm always going to choose save as new style. If I were working with styles, I would probably decide whether to go update the selected style or save as a new style. But I would never say do nothing to save changes. Okay? So I'm going to say save as a new style. I'm going to hit create scene. And what it's done, if you look here at the top of the modeling windows, it's created a little scene tab that says Scene 1. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, that scene tab is probably going to be over here on the left part of the screen somewhere. I'm on a Mac, so it's right here in the middle. And my Scenes dialog box is minimized right now, so I can't really see it. Let's change the view of the model right now. So watch. I'm going to kind of orbit around, and uh, I'm going to show the back of the model. So I'm going to say that's what the back of this house looks like. I'm going to go open that Scenes dialog box, and I'm going to hit that Add Page button again. It should eventually say Add Scene. There we go. And did you notice it created another little Scene tab? Now, let's minimize that Scene dialog box, and watch what happens when I click between those Scene tabs. Click on one, and it's going to fly me to the first scene. Click on two, and it sort of flies me to the second scene. And it's really as simple as that. Let's uh, change the view again. So I'm going to say I want to be in my camera menu, go to standard and top. So I'm looking at a top view of the house. And let's add a scene there. There we go. And then I'm going to say, you know what, I'd like to see this with no perspective. So let's look at one with parallel projection, meaning no perspective, and add a scene there. And um, you know what, I'd like to create a couple views. Let's turn on perspective again. I'd like to create a couple views of what the inside of this house looked like, the inside of the doghouse. So let's kind of just orbit around in here, just like that. And I'm going to change my field of view, which you can read about uh, in the previous video, or in the, the previous part of the chapter of the book, or in the last video that I recorded, um, so that I can kind of get a wider view of being inside here. Let's change that to an 80 degree field of view. Look at my look around tool, so I'm sort of looking around here. And I want to save this view too. So let's go to scenes and say save that scene. That's good. And uh, let's save another scene that's over here somewhere. Let's save a scene there. Cool. All right. Let's do one more scene. And this scene is going to be in a different style. Oops, I'm still in an 80 degree field of view right now. So I'm going to change my field of view back to 
45, which looks a little better if I'm outside. Again, if you're confused about field of view, check out the book or check out the previous video um, in the playlist uh, that this video is included in on YouTube as well. Okay, so we've got this house. I'm going to change the style that it's drawn in. So let's go over to my styles dialog box and I'm going to change my style to, I don't know, maybe a charcoal style, something like that. There we go. That's hideous, but let's say I liked it for some reason. Savannah herself actually doesn't look all that happy in this one, so I'm just going to hide her. There we go. And we've got this kind of charcoal-y looking view of the doghouse there, and I'm going to save the scene just like that. Like that. Okay, so now is the time that you can have fun. Let's just click through the scenes. Let's go. Scene one, just like that. Scene two, remember it was the back of the house. Scene three, is kind of a top view. Scene four is a no perspective top view. It's called a plan view. And this is the kind of view you'd use if you actually wanted to, let's say, sketch, um, I don't know, the approach to the thing or the plants that might be around it. It's a no perspective view. Let's look at this one. That's an inside view. There's another inside view. And finally, this is that kind of sketchy view. Now, I don't have to click through these in any particular order. I can go in whatever order I want. And SketchUp handles the animation part, the part where it actually flies between them all by itself. Okay, so that's that's kind of the very quick overview of using scenes. There's a whole lot more in the book that I'm not going to cover in videos just yet. Um, but that's kind of the quick and dirty version. Okay, that's the end of this video for Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.